News at 10. Hi there, I'm Nicolette Perdomo. Thanks for joining us tonight. It was an exciting day in the Hub City. The football team back in town taking on a top 25 ranked team for a Big 12 home opener. Red Raider Nation's Eric Kelly joins us now with some of those highlights. Yeah, Nicolette, exciting is probably the word you could use, but you could feel the nerves amongst the Red Raider football fans still reeling a little bit as a fan base after that drubbing in Norman. Beating 21st ranked OSU, though, would be just the bounce back the program needed. Matt Wells is looking to pick up that first win over a top 25 team. Jet D Duffy doing all that he can early on. Up 3 nothing already. He takes off and gets in the end zone for the rushing touchdown. 10 nothing Texas Tech at that point. That dude is really excited, like scarily excited. Second quarter, 13 nothing now. Duffy the fade to shake Keyshawn Carter. And it's 20 nothing Red Raiders. Cowboys would make this a game. Tech up 37-21 in the fourth quarter. Duffy flings it deep to Eric Ezukanma. That would be the nail in the coffin as he takes it to the house. Red Raiders win 45-35. They get that signature win. And our David Collier has more on just what this means for the program, both this season and historically. Yeah, Eric, clearly the response that head coach Matt Wells and his coaching staff was hoping for today against the 21st-ranked Oklahoma State Cowboys. This uh, Texas Tech program has had its struggles against OSU. This was the first time since 2002 that the Red Raiders have been able to win back-to-back -back games against OSU. And they've struggled against ranked teams at home as well. First victory at home against the top 25 team since 2013, snapping a 10-game losing streak there. But more importantly, just for the mentality and the mindset of a program to bounce back the way they did after the struggles they had a week ago in Norman. Really proud of our team. Um, this was a tough week. It was an emotional week. Um, nobody was uh, very happy about the way we played last week, embarrassed, um, and I thought they responded. Tremendous amount of guts. You know, we called a players meeting, and um, it was embarrassing. Um, probably the most embarrassing loss I've had. And us captains, we challenged our, you know, our young players to step up. Guys like Eric, uh, Tay, Shiraji, they stepped up today in a huge way for us, and um, I couldn't be more proud of than those guys. Just build confidence in our guys, especially the young guys. We, t They can know that we can do it, and uh, just the older guys can continue to lead them in the right way, and we just come together as a team. Let the momentum just keep building up. What was the locker room like after? Oh, ecstatic. There was a lot of energy. I haven't seen it like that in a minute, uh, just like all the way through. You know, everyone was really excited. We. We, we needed that home win, and we got it. Maybe just as important as that win is the way both the offense and defense played in this win. The defense with seven sacks, one off the school record, forcing five turnovers as well. And on offense, you can't ask for much better first start at quarterback than what Jeff Duffy provided for the Red Raiders today in their 10-point win over Oklahoma State. We'll have much more on the victory coming up a little bit later in the Red Raider Nation. At Jones AT&T Stadium, I'm David Collier. A crash near Lynn County sending one person to the hospital with serious injuries. Both cars driving southbound on US 87. DPS says the driver of a Jeep Wrangler was traveling on the inside lane and after drifting over collided with a Toyota Camry. That's when the Jeep lost control and began to roll. The driver of that car was taken to UMC. The driver and four passengers of the Camry are all expected to be okay. And today was such a great day to get outside. Kellyanne's in the weather lab with our forecast. Is it going to be just as nice tomorrow, Kellyanne? Yeah, still going to be expecting a pretty nice day tomorrow. Not as warm as we saw today, but we are going to be watching a big cool down on the way. We're talking about temperatures into the upper 50s and lower 60s later on this week. But for right now, as we get a look outside this afternoon and evening, uh, mostly clear conditions and some quiet conditions as well. Winds right now are ranging and that's because we have a cold front moving on through currently at the moment. And you can see it moving on through as we take a look at our regional temperature, 68 right now in uh, Lubbock, 78 in Snyder. Here's a little bit more of a local view at the moment as temperatures slowly fall into the lower 60s to upper 50s. Should be very nice night tonight, though, if you are going to be heading out. Very cool. By the time you wake up tomorrow morning, temperatures in the low to mid 50s across the area. And taking a look at the next three days, we actually do feature a cool down on the way. Temperatures by the beginning of the work week into the upper 60s and then warming back up into the lower 70s. 
Notice those low temperatures though into the 40s. So by Monday morning going to be very chilly outside, but we are talking about temperatures in the 30s in some spots. So yes, a little bit more winter like weather is on the way. We'll talk a little bit more about that in the full forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Nicola. And Kellyanne, a former neighbor of Botham Jean and a witness during Amber Geiger's trial killed in a shooting. Police say Joshua Brown was shot several times at a Dallas apartment complex. The suspect is still unknown. Brown lived across the hall from Jean and appeared on the stand on September 24th. And a daycare center in Houston caught fire Friday, forcing the evacuation of children and workers. Daycare workers say 74 children and 10 employees were inside the facility when the fire broke out on the second floor. Thankfully, no one was injured. Right now, no word on how the fire started. Texas Tech Health Sciences Center School of Medicine hosting a free women's clinic by providing medical services to uninsured women, including well women exams and consultations, all at no cost to them. The clinic's mission is to educate students throughout clinical experiences and to help as many people as possible. Med students at Tech say it's so important for women to get these checkups to make sure they're healthy. I think it's so important um, that men, women, and children make sure that they come in and see a doctor. Um, if you're uninsured, you can come here to the free clinic, get an appointment. Um, it's so important for your overall health to be seen by a doctor at least once a year, get lab work. Um, you know, you could possibly catch something and treat something that could be devastating if not uh, caught early enough. This is the 10th year of hosting this free clinic, and they've seen more than 13,000 patients. And out in Hale County, the Plainview Fire Department participating in the Bells Across America program. This ceremony honors firefighters who died in the line of duty. And this is the fourth year Plainview Fire has participated in the program. It's a way to help us honor those that came before us. Plainview is a, a long-standing history in the fire service with 110 years as an organized fire department. And uh, when you look back at uh, the fire service in general, it's all about history and traditions, and this is a huge, a huge thing for us to get to do a huge honor. Chief Gibson says it's a way to pay respect to these brave men and women who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Coming up, it's a new trend that started by accident, paying it forward in, you heard it, 